Judge, this is the case of Old Town Road. Thank you, Nick. Money, it is a major problem in a lot of relationships. When what's going out is more than what's coming in, it causes stress, stress causes arguments, which causes people to come see me. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Jennifer Beam and Josh Futch. You two have been together for six years. You have one child between the two of you. Ms. Futch, you say he is a financial disaster and you're seeking $2,500 for a variety of items. Um, we're going to talk about that momentarily, but before we do, Ms. Beam, I'm going to ask you to tell me a little bit about your union and why you're here today. Basically, it's just like every day I wake up and I ask myself, what am I going to lose next? Um, we have lost everything in the period of two months. Um, you know, he, a year ago when I lost my job, he told me that he wanted me to stay home. I homeschool the kids, mm -hmm. so he wanted me to stay home and to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and so he promised me that he had it. Um, so the whole year went by. I thought everything was fine. Within the period of one week, I found out that he was $1,000 behind on everything, the electric, the, the, the internet, the cable, the phone, everything. Yeah. We ended up getting evicted from our home. I didn't even know we were past due on the rent. Um, this all happened within the period of one week. And then we ended up in what we're in now, which is a tiny house. Uh -huh. um, and I have a video of that uh, to show you okay. and a picture. Now, how many kids do you have with you? I have three children. I have the two that I brought to the relationship and then the one that I have with him. And they're all living together with you? We all live together. In that? Yes, ma'am, in that. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, it's, he's got the bathroom in the front, which um, is not completed. It's usable, but it's not completed. It's outside of the house? He built in it a, on. In a little, he built, built it, on. it on. Oh, I got you. Built it on. We needed more room, so he built it on. And then the inside, you know, I mean, both lofts are big enough, but I mean, you know, the stove and the oven doesn't work. So I cook out of the toaster oven and the microwave. Um, you know, I mean, the floor needs to be completed. It's not insulated all around. Um, you know, it's just, it's just so many things that need to get done. And every project that he starts, he never completes if yeah, he ever starts them no. in the first place. Mr. Futch, what do you have to say, sir? I, I work six days a week. Uh -huh. I only have one day off. I, I, I bust my butt to make sure everything's done. I mean, I, I come home, I, I try and get as much done as I can when I'm home after work. But I don't have that much time. Mm -hmm. The only day I have off is Sunday, and I try to spend it with her and the kids. But I mean, yeah, but I mean, we could spend like it. We could spend it together doing something like finishing some of these projects around the house. Right, I mean, you know, I, you know, I mean, these things need to get done. We can't live like this anymore. Well, Mr. Fudge, let me ask you this: She claims that within a week uh, of you taking over the finances, everything collapsed. Do do you agree with that, or do no, you have no, a different because... vision of what happened? No, because she was out of work for, it was a year we mm -hmm. lived there with just me working. I mean, it wasn't. No. It, it wasn't. Hang on, let him finish. It, it wasn't that much, that short of time. I, I did most of it by myself. It's just that, like, I didn't have enough to pay everything all at once, so I would just pay what I could to keep the stuff on, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But then I had some problems with the job I was at, and things got yeah, but you chaotic, didn't... and I had to, I had to leave there. And that's when things got really out of hand. So, yeah. so, so what, did, what, what do you have to say about that? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, our cell phone was shut off. And he told me that we only owed $125. I called. It turns out no. he's $600 behind. And he's only made three payments since the thing was turned on in the first place. Um, the electricity. Um, you know, I, I've worked the entire relationship. And usually I was the one that took care of the bills. Um, yeah. But the... Huh. What, 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 what? It, 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 it was 150 to get the phone turned back on. It was not $150. But, but See, he tells me that f lied to him. That's what he says. It's only because they turned it off. If I come up with the 150 they would turn the phones back on. Uh -huh. But it had to be done with a certain amount of time or it voided the contract, and then I would have to pay the full amount. He full told amount. me And I didn't have it in time to do that, so you it had to turned pay out full to be amount. 600 I don't believe a word of it. 
I'll just be <laughs> straight up with you. I don't believe word of it. I she, specifically. She don't believe anything I say. Well, no, because I because uh, because he has a bad track record. I mean, you know, you trust people just about this far, and then when they show you that they that that, that they're not deserving of that, then mm. obviously you're not going to trust them anymore. I mean, you know, and that's where I'm at with him. I mean, you know, but I have I to I have to call. I have to check on him all the time. I have to make sure what he's telling me is true. I have to make sure his story makes sense. I mean, the electric, the electric. I mean, w the situation that we're in right now, um, it's it's uh, the electric's already set up in someone else's name, a family member's name, and it's pay by the day. And so he'll go, he'll put 20 bucks on on Monday, you know, I mean, and by Wednesday, it's shut off. So around 11 o'clock, I'm in there on the computer doing stuff with yeah, the kids, all of a sudden she'll, everything shuts she'll down. She'll call me and but, say the, the electric's off, and within 30 minutes to an hour, I got it back on. Right, but it's, it's not. Just, it, it, it's a pay as you go. It's not a so matter. So I put on there what I can, and then. It's not a matter of, I understand there's that there's other you, stuff we got to get to. You too, take I mean. care of it after the fact, but you need to think about it beforehand. You need to think about how everything is supposed to be paid beforehand. Well, Mr. Fletch, that leads me to the uh, to another question, the one that you raised in your paper, is that your communication with Ms. Beam is just simply non non-existent or no. ineffective. Why don't no. you tell me why you say that? Because, like, um... She called me the other day, asked me to bring some stuff home for her, so I picked up some stuff, and I got some dish soap. And it was the wrong kind. Mm -hmm. She wanted a different kind. So I, I just explained to her, the last time I got it, I got the kind you wanted, and you weren't happy with that either. And then she went into this whole thing. She, you don't she gets listen. very angry. Yeah, I get angry because yell, you frustrate the scream. out of me. You don't ever listen. And then, watch the language, watch sorry, the language. Sorry. And then I just shut down like that. I just shut down. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to hear no more. And then she goes into, He's you don't ever listen to me. Mm -hmm. You don't, I, I, I don't, all you're doing is screaming, you know, I don't want to. Does he not listen? He, he, you can get this far with him and then right. there's a wall that right. gets built up. And I think it's a defense mechanism, maybe. He doesn't want to hear it. He feels like he's not getting enough affection in the relationship right now. And it's, and it's because I don't, I don't have any kind of connection with him. You know, like, I don't feel like he's taking care of his I'll, business. So I'll I don't feel attracted to him. And come in and give her a hug and try and kiss her. And she'll push me away and say, I ain't got time for a hug right now. If I got time, I'll give well, you one later. Well, I got later. three kids. Later I, got th I got stuff to I do. Never, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, you like, got time nothing. for a hug. I don't got yeah. time for it a hug. It takes a nanosecond. Oh, we'll, we'll sit down. Don't sell me that. <laughs> we'll sit down on the couch at night to watch a movie. I want to snuggle up with her. And don't put your arm around me. Don't. You can sit next to me, but don't. Don't get too close. I don't, I don't, don't, I don't say that. that. You can what? sit next to me, but yeah, don't yeah. get too close. Yeah, yeah, you don't, say don't that. Don't me. I don't know. I told him I did not want to scrap at, at the, the car. At the time, we needed the money, so it was, it was $140 uh, yeah. as opposed to just putting a new motor in the car and having a car. And there was a lot also, more. You didn't have it. You, he needed the 140 You don't have electricity. You got toilet outside and all that kind of stuff. Well, and you want him to put a new motor in the car, no, but, but there's no electricity in the house. Going on. I don't, I don't know what it is. I mean, I just feel like he's just, you know what I mean? Like, it used to be there, you know? I don't know where it went. I still love him. I mm -hmm. love him with every ounce of me. But he's just, he's irresponsible. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like there are things that I want him to do. I have three horses, and I have just a little barn. There's a tiny little barn out back. I know, I have a lot of, a lot of ridiculous responsibilities, and I have no money. But I thought everything was fine a year ago, you know? Yeah, I thought everything was fine. So anyway... These three horses kind of just fell into my lap. Anyway, anyway, so oh, I have horses these... don't fall yeah. on your lap. <laughs> they did. Yeah, that, that goes back into the back into the thing of me getting stuff done because when when I get home from work, that's what she, I take over the kids and she goes out and does the horses. So I, mean, I don't see anything the, wrong the with that. Really Mr. Mr. Futch, I'm beginning to see the light. <laughs> I'm starting to see your point of view. So the only Why? Time I got to starting to see that. You say she's angry all the time. Is uh, that true uh, or is that just... It? Every once in a while we'll have a good time. See, that, that goes back into it, too. She can't... I don't think she can let things go. Like, she'll get mad, like, say, for the, the electric. Like, we'll be having a good day. Everything will be going fine. We'll be talking, joking, laughing. And then, I don't know what a trigger it, but she'll go right back into the... being mad about the electric. It's because it's... it's... And then... And then 
20 minutes after we're done fighting, everything goes back to normal, and then she'll go right it's back into I'm it. It's because I'm trying. Just... I'm trying. You know, mm -hmm. I am trying to departmentalize all of my feelings. I'm trying to, I know he made this mistake, and I know it's a huge mistake. I get it. You know, I mean, a lot of girls would have left him, you know, mm -hmm. but you see there are good points about him, and, and he can do this, you know, but he needs to communicate with me. He needs to talk to me. You know, I've struggled my whole life. I've had to, I have no, no we'll family. It's just me and my kids, yell, and I've scream. always had to survive. So, I mean, I can put in my two cents. I can help him, but he doesn't come to me. It's all a secret. Does he not come to you because he knows what's going to come at him once he yes. does? Yes. 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 And that is a problem. I know that's a problem. I mean, like, the big thing with me, you know, uh, right now what's aggravating me, not the most, but I, <laughs> it's aggravating me on the list. You know, the fence that we have around where we have the barn, mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he, every single day, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And it just never gets done. And it's the same way with everything else. So, okay, I mean, like, this will just show you, that's where the horses are at there. And then this is all stuff like the, the, the that's all broken right there. Is this property you rent? No, this is family-owned property that we're parked on. And see all that? That all needs to be fixed. That that post was falling uh -huh, down. The horses uh -huh. can't be in certain areas. You can't have barbed wire with horses. Yeah. It all needs to be fixed. Like, like I said, I work I work six days a week. I have I have one day off. When I get home, she goes out with the horses. I, I don't really have time except for on Sunday. And I, I don't mind doing it. I'll do a little bit on Sunday, but I don't want to spend my whole day. There's one last thing on I want to no, talk about. Uh, you say. He's disrespectful because you he threw your dog away without your permission. That is absolutely what T broke my heart the most. Tell me place. what happened. Well, you know, I had this dog for eight years. Eight years. Bought her as a puppy, put clothes on her and stuff. I mean, you know, that's... I mean, you know, and she meant so oh, much is he, to me. Oh, is he ter bull terrier? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, she's a mix, yeah. Yeah. Mix. Oh, I got one. And I mean, she light. just meant so much to me. You know, she was my ride or die. She was with me through everything, okay? See, I, I and what did he do? What did he do? What I have to say to you is this. What you doing with three horses living in a shed? <laughs> horses are expensive. They gotta eat, they have to have vet bills, they have to be, their feet have to be taken care of, they have to have all that kind of stuff, and you got some horses. What's up with that? If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. What happened was I was at the hospital having his baby and I left his in charge of the dog. I mean, she was tied up outside, whatever. I guess apparently she was screaming and crying, so he told them to take her, pack her up in the car, and just drop her off. And so that's what they did. They packed her up in the back of the car, and they just dropped her off in the middle of nowhere. Mr. Mr. Futz, do you have a response to that? That's a little I, cold. I take full responsibility for that. I did do that. She was pregnant. She was complaining, you know, the dog complaining. was starting to stink. And <laughs> oh, my God, the really? It was an old dog. It was getting old. Oh, oh so yeah, I, I, yeah, I just, yeah. She was stressed out, and I, I did that. I yeah. thought it was... That, you know, that's well, something that requires a, conversa that, a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it, it requires a conversation and a decision. She's kind of got to be led into, you know, it's yeah. time to let him go because we're just not in a position to care for him, that yeah, kind I of take, thing. I take full responsibility. You understand why that. he did was, it, though? He didn't do it to hurt you. Well, yeah, but uh, this is my problem, though. When I came home from the hospital, I didn't know where the dog was at, obviously. So I'm standing out in the driveway right. calling her name. He's telling me, oh, she's probably just at a neighbor's house. She'll be back. They no, lied to me about it. Yes, I did. I, no, I did you not didn't. Tell her right away. So. I got yeah, it. I got it. I, I got trying. it. So, Ms. Beam, you're seeking $2,500, one for the value of a car and the place for the car. Tell me what you what you're talking about here. Okay. Well, uh, when I, you know, I was an independent single mother when I came into this relationship, right? And I had a car. And so, but I didn't really maintain it quite so well, so the motor was starting to tap, and, uh, you know, he's a mechanic. He could have mm -hmm. easily fixed it. But, you know, he let it go. And, I mean, you know, it's not much. It was just all I had. And so, I mean, I bought it, you know, with money that I, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's, it's so a his mother, sin it's is not fixing the car that you didn't take he's care of. He's not fixing, well, no, not, well, that. <laughs> but um, the motor finally went in it. I told him we could just replace it. It wouldn't be that expensive to buy a new motor. And instead, he decided to scrap it. 
-hmm. I told him I did not want to scrap at, at the, the car. At the time, we needed the money, so it was It was just, $140, uh, and, right. as opposed to just putting a new motor in the car and having a car and there was a lot more. You didn't have it. You, he needed the 140 You don't have electricity. You got toilet outside, all that kind of stuff. Well, and this you was want back him to put a new motor in the car, no, but, but there's no electricity in the house. This was back before all that. Uh, this was back. Well, when, how long ago was it? This was um, About three years four ago. years ago. Oh, let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the Florida plates, how it works in Florida is if you have a car and you have plates on it, you keep those plates and then you buy a new car and you put those plates on the car. If you don't have plates and you buy a car, you, you have gotta to buy pay, more it's like plates. $500. I got gotcha. you. Know, so now I'm in that position where I got to pay that money plus buy a new car. Mm -hmm. You know, and, mm -hmm. and I feel oh, like we he almost the kind of subconscious. Off the car. She just mm -hmm. don't remember where we put them. I, I well, that's not what you told me before. Yeah. Now we got okay. You have. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that's what happened. Let, 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 let me let me say a few things. Number one, you're not getting any money. Okay. The doctrine of latches. This was three years ago. You know, uh, he's not responsible for the fact that you didn't take care of the car, and uh, you were relying him on to making financial decisions. You guys were in it to win it together and whatever. And you and he did take the plates off the car and can't find him. And I can see. I saw the mess that's going on over there. I, I believe he can't find him. <laughs>